Before we get started here, I just want to give you a quick overview of the trip ahead. <clears throat> We're traveling to assist in the recovery of critical communication services in Raleigh, North Carolina from the storm Hurricane Florence. Um, we're leaving Dallas and we're heading to Raleigh. It uh, takes about two days to get to Raleigh from Dallas and so we're gonna split it up into a two-day trip. Um, so the halfway point is Birmingham, Alabama and that's where we're headed now. This is a crazy ride. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish that drone companies that hire people to do things could like make up their mind. We just got an email saying that they weren't going to need us and that we, uh, they have people that were closer to work the drones. However, we texted because we're already well into Louisiana. And I texted the guy and told him, you know, hey, we're all, we're like getting close to halfway there. Um, so is there any way that we can still have something to do um, to help with the, uh, with the disaster stuff that's going on in North Carolina? Um, so we just got a text back saying, yeah, come on. Um, and that they would uh, utilize us however they needed to and uh, that we will probably maybe possibly get some flight time. Um, I don't care if we're charging batteries. Bob doesn't care if we're charging batteries. We'll still be um, involved. involved and this is an extremely important endeavor um, for Photo Flyboy and for Bob and I. So we are in Louisiana, headed still to Alabama. We're going to spend the night in Birmingham and uh, make our way to uh, Raleigh tomorrow. And um, we'll check back in later. I hope y'all are having a good day, and I hope y'all are all safe. Show the road. Here's the road. This is the road that we're on, heading to Birmingham. Never been to Birmingham, so it's this really this should hard. be interesting. All right. We are about to cross into Mississippi from Louisiana, which took freaking forever to get through. But we're going over the bridge and about to be in Mississippi. Was a great 
great experience. They were so kind to us. I had canceled the reservation because we thought we weren't going to get there um, because we thought that we were being called off from going. But they rebooked us and took us in and it was an awesome room. I would stay there for weeks, literally. Really? Yeah, I thought that place was awesome. So this morning we have um, continental breakfast, and um, <laughs> but we're headed that way. And oddly enough, the first song that came up was REM. Yay, Georgia! Awesome music from Georgia. Love me some Caroline Aiken. All right, shout out. Okay, well, we'll talk with y'all later. When we're checking in. When we're checking in. Uh, maybe maybe a couple of states in, too. So, um, anything to say, Bob? Loving the biscuit. <laughs> Loving the biscuit. All right. We are in Atlanta. And we got the perfect music going. Passing uh, emergency trucks that are going to help with the disaster. And uh, we are too. North in Atlanta heading to 75 North and we're not sure what that highway is going to look like. There was some motion media back in um, Alabama that said that there was some kind of problem of course going on this highway but uh, hopefully we can get through South Carolina and get to North Carolina. Y'all wish us luck. So here we are in um, South Carolina and we are definitely in the bands of the tropical storm. It is seriously raining and has been for quite some time now. Um, <clears throat> We're heading to, what's the next town? Spartanburg? Charlotte. Charlotte. Um, and it's sometimes slow going, but we're getting there. So, just so you see what it's like out there. Good times. We've seen quite a few accidents and a bunch of drunk drivers. <laughs> no, we've seen a bunch of drunk drivers on this trip. What about those two last night that were, yeah, no. Okay, that was last we've night. seen okay. We've seen several drunk drivers on this trip. It's I mean, been kind of crazy. But this one guy was just out of hand. I mean, totally going off the road. Both sides. It was just crazy. We just tried to pass him. I yelled at him to get off, get off the road. But then he started chasing us for a little while. And anyway, we got away from him, so that's good. But I pretty sure he's the guy that went off the road and into the trees and into the trees so anyway i'll check back with y'all later anything to add bob coffee's good oh yay for coffee well here we are in um just outside of charlotte on the north side of charlotte actually and oh things have gotten progressively worse um as of course, as we expected, we are, you know, in the midst of a tropical storm, um, which was a hurricane. So, um, it's pretty foul outside. I'll show it to you. Fun times driving here in North Carolina, but... The music's good. The coffee was good. Bob is great. He's very focused on the road and 
as I would want him to be. So, um, just checking in. We're about an hour and a half, two hours. How, how far away is it? About two hours away from uh, Raleigh. So, thanks for sticking with us. So, the highway has come to a crawl due to flooding on the highway. So, there's, you can see the water standing over there, how deep it is. It's just kind of crazy. Bob got flooded from the other side from a truck going in and the water came over the, the pylon in the middle of the freeway. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He didn't think it was very funny. <laughs> anyway, check back with you later. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry for the appearance. I just got out of the um, bath. Today's been a little crazy. We got to um, Raleigh last night and rain, 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 rain. The guy that we were supposed to meet um, told us to start this morning and come in uh, and they were gonna have a meeting with all the drone guys. And so um, uh, we got up and at eight o'clock we went and um, basically started getting debriefed on what the missions were and how we were gonna handle them and all that kind of stuff. And tomorrow, we're supposed to go to start driving to Wilmington. Now we have heard um, tales that it could take us from Raleigh um, five to six hours, maybe even more. Um, the highways are closed. I think that they might have opened up a portion of 95, but there's a million people trying to get home, trying to figure out routes. So, um, we leave at six in the morning. Yay. And, uh, thank God they start serving breakfast at four. Yay. Coffee for me. And, um, anyway, we will be on the road tomorrow going to Wilmington, which is basically the epicenter of where, um, the bulk of the hurricane hit. Hey y'all, here we are again. Today is Tuesday and we are on our way to Wilmington. Um, pretty much the epicenter of where the hurricane hit. We're in a convoy right now with uh, <laughs> about three other drone nerds. Um, <laughs> uh, they're, they are a group unto themselves, let me just tell you that. Um, anyway, we are um, heading into, like I said, we're pretty much the the majority of the storm took the greatest impact so it, it'll be interesting to see what it uh, looks like and um, our prayers are definitely with the people that it has impacted and the guy in front of us in the ridge line that's Tyler and his son Marshall a couple of drone nerds um, but they are actually from Wilmington so it's um he hasn't been gotten to be home yet so lord only knows what his place looks like so we're hoping that everything is good for him when he gets there and um super super nice guy and uh his son is a super awesome kid and out helping dad so it's uh 
the people that we're with are really nice folks so um, wanting to do some good and that's what we're doing too so anything to say Bob it'll be interesting to see what it looks like once we get down there yeah it will be interesting and we are on some little podunk ass road um, in North Carolina uh, one of the drone nerds is in front of us. He's one of the Mario brothers. Obviously, Mario must be a popular name with drone, drone nerds because there's two of them in our group. And this is, this is Mario's car in front of us. Mario's from Maryland, Mr. Dartmouth. And um, anyway, we are in a long line of sitting still traffic so we'll run, ooh, out of gas this, we'll, we'll run out of gas eventually thank god we filled up in the last little place uh Probably where were place where were we what town was that jacksonville. jacksonville we were in jacksonville north carolina and filled up their bathrooms were out so yay and you got to go behind a wall <laughs> yeah i'm a tough gal chicks rule when you need to. So we've made it to Wilmington and wow, lots of down trees on top of houses. It's been a little crazy. The drive has been kind of, um, I'm not going to say hectic, but maybe a little irritating because, wow. Um, because you have to um, go through a lot of stop and go traffic so it's been a little crazy uh, anyway we're going to our new checkpoint which is at Scientific Park so probably a spectrum uh, not a spectrum a Comcast facility sorry about that and um, we're just basically stuck in traffic Right now we have Douglas from Granberry in front of us. He's also a droner. Yay, Douglas. And a sporto. <clears throat> anyway, um, he's big into baseball. He's a coach. So, um, but he's a nice guy. Very nice guy. So, anyway, here we are. Continuing on. Catch you later. Anything to add, Bobbert? Bob? Bob? Huh? Anything to add? What? <laughs> okay, I guess that was <laughs> not. No, he has nothing to add. All right, bye. Assignments further south on 421. Are you guys can get down there. All right. So, um, let's start parceling it out. Okay. Well, you got a bunch of stuff right. um, Hey, Nathan. Can you come over for a second and just show me what's been assigned? Um, all the okay. spectrum 27. Do you guys know I'm how to... 421.17? Yeah. Okay. 421.17. Yeah. Okay. 421.17. Okay. I'm going to pull it up on my map and make the grid while we're here. Mm-hmm. It's Thursday morning. We are driving to Chadbourne, North Carolina. This is the highway and nothing is on it. Bob and I went around a barricade trying to see if there was any reason why there's the road closure, but we can't seem to find a reason. There was some extremely low areas with some extremely high water on either side of the road but nothing going on to um, nothing on the road. show why there's an actual road closure. So, but you can see nobody's, really nobody's on the road at all. So this is the life of a visual observer. I'm really just Bob's glorified operations manager. I'm making hotel reservations. Uh, making sure that the phone calls get answered. I'm taking notes, logging plans, 
and just basically doing a bunch of clerical stuff. Woohoo! So, still haven't seen any of the real hurricane damage. It's 3.07 on Thursday afternoon, and we are in a town called Chadbourne, or Chadburn, not sure how they pronounce it. It's almost spelled like Jason Bourne's last name without an E. But anyway, um, we stopped, our first stop this morning was to get breakfast and start logging um, what the grid patterns were going to be for the drone. So we stopped in this little cafe, which is obviously a serious local hangout spot. And um, it's called Tyson's in Chadburn, Oklahoma. I mean, Chadburn, North Carolina. Anyway, um, lots of local people were in there. Lots of, they were all talking about Hurricane Florence. And one of the guys that was there is from a little town called Fair Bluff, which is about 21 miles away from here. It actually might be a whole lot closer, but the closest route to get to Chad, uh, to, uh, Fair Bluff is 21 miles. I'm trying, we're trying our best to get the rest of these drone flights in so that we can go over there because, um, according to the gentleman that was talking to us, they're still basically underwater. And not that I want to see the devastation or anything, um, but I do want to see how bad it is. Um, I mean, we've seen lots of downed trees and lots of areas that carry a lot of water. We crossed Highway 74 this morning, coming to Chadburn, and uh, we went 17 miles on a section of the road that was uh, had road closed signs on it. But since we have the clearance that we do, if we had to come across anything that we should have been taking pictures of, that's why we went ahead and took the road. But the reason we took it also, hang on, Bob's lovely phone. Um, anyway, the reason that we went ahead and took it, uh, wait, what I was saying is, um, the reason that we think that the road closed signs are still up is because there was a section of the road that if it flooded very much more, I have a feeling it would just kind of wash away. So that it's probably very dangerous. Plus we saw a lot of vehicles that were strewn along the road that all the windows were down. So we know that the water was probably up above what they're, you know, above the car level where they could get out by using the doors. So, that's where we are today. All right, later. So all good things must come to an end. We are actually headed to um, Alabama. Where? We are leaving Pinehurst. We are probably going to uh, take a detour through Sugar Tit, South Carolina. Just because I need to have a name. <laughs> an actual documentation of the fact that there is a place called Sugar Tit, South Carolina, and I want a picture of the sign. Um, who names their town that? Yes, I'm from Sugar Tit. Been born and raised there all my life. <laughs> anyway, um, leaving Pinehurst, had a wonderful time with uh, Kathy and Don and the kids and their significant others. It was just awesome getting to see them and little Miss Eliza she was just a joy even though she didn't like us yet because she didn't know who we were so but that's all right that's a idea anyway we're gonna stop by the Pinehurst Country Club and see what's going on there and uh, get a couple of pictures and heading back to Dallas all right is the final leg of our journey we are traveling for the last day 
we left um, Tuscaloosa this morning at about 8.15. It's about 9.07 now. Um, oh, disgusting. Do not ever stay at the older La Quinta on the side of 20. And Martinsville Road, what was the name of the road? 4122 something. Oh, ugh. disgusting. <laughs> So, like, the floors were, like, seriously filthy, and the no towels, no no bath towels. Um, they had hand towels and washcloths, but that, you know, who could dry off with that? And the TV didn't work. I had to watch DirecTV on my telephone. Thank you, DirecTV, you rock! Um, and, uh, <laughs> just so disgusting got up to go to their little continental breakfast y'all and they had this like container of hard-boiled eggs with no freaking utensil to get them out so like people were sticking their hands in there on shelled hard-boiled eggs disgusting anyway okay enough of that so we are traveling through the rest of Alabama, then we'll go through Mississippi and Louisiana, and finally into Texas, and yay, we'll be home hopefully sometime around 5 or 6 this evening, so, all right, y'all, talk to you later. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. This is a bucket of boiled peanuts. My husband lied and said they were good. All I have to say is, why would you boil a peanut? Ew, it's like red beans without sauce. It's disgusting. Why would you, ew, it's just, no. Mm -mm. No to the boiled peanuts. Give me some peanut brittle, some roasted peanuts, some peanut patties, any other kind of peanuts. Boiled, not the way to go. Once again. Here it is. Ew! Boiled peanuts. Good. What? They're good. Ew! They're good.